the top five best-selling private residential project uh, last month. As we've mentioned uh, numerous times now, for at, at Bukit Timah that was uh, launched is actually the first, if I'm not wrong, the first project to be launched after the circuit breaker. So it's uh, got very good response. Uh, so 213 units sold at a median price of uh, 1,933. So the rest, uh, we see three uh, OCR and then the Woodley is also from the RCR. Uh, just to jump a little bit deeper into this, so we have um, pulled out the top 10. Uh, this is quite a busy busy chart. <laughs> I apologize for this. Mm -hmm. um, but we just note that there is a tie, three-way tie at number 10. So we have uh, Noma, Sterling, Residences, Affinity all at 10th position. Uh, so for it on top and interestingly there are about six entries from the RCR in the August uh, numbers um, You know coming to to Ismail again uh, and, and also Kelvin in a while uh, We could actually expect to see RCR gaining strength, right? There are actually more projects in RCR coming up Yeah, yes, yes. I mean I, I agree with that. I think as, as you know, there are three more projects lined up in the month of September uh, as early as this weekend will be Verdale. Uh, and Verdale is also very nicely uh, designed, I must say. And this developer really take a lot of pride and um, it is at, it, not far away from Upper Bukit Timah area, Verdale. And then we also have got Pandros, which is the Pai Leba area. Uh, and another development also is next to Potong Pasir MRT within two minutes is Myra. Myra is the only freehold of the three. The other two being the government land sale B99. Mm -hmm. Okay, so before we go, go on to some of the new developments, how do I interpret this chart? Even though, as you said, it looks a bit busy, but it seems to be a tie. Out of the 12, even though top 10, because the last three has been a tie, six are from RCR and six are from OCR. But we must be mindful, the OCR, there weren't any new launches. Mm. RCR, we had two of the new launches are there. The number one for it, the 213 units, and NOMA in number 10. It's a very smallish development with 50 units. So, and yet sold 34. So can you imagine a brand new development with 50 units launched, the developer sold 68%. So, that shows the confidence in the market, even though it's a small, you know, small development don't, normally don't come with huge amount of facilities and so on, and yet people are picking it up. So actually the honest truth I want to say here is this from this particular slide, if I can only conclude one thing, buyers are taking advantage of the current sensitive pricing. Okay, and that's, that's that is the huge draw, yeah. And because um, when I look at it for it at one thousand nine hundred and thirty-three, the median price. If let's say maybe Suyang can bring the cursor there to show exactly because it is like yes, the one nine three three. Indeed, it's a freehold development, and that's why it did very well. For a freehold, normally people pay a premium of twenty percent. If I minus the twenty percent, it is only about. 1,600 and that is very doable and why treasure has been month after month has been in the top selling project look at the price at 1,364 when we look at the entire top 10 no property is at that range so a lot of aspirations of Singaporeans who want to buy a the mega the largest the huge amount of facilities treasure provides and that's why it sells well uh, generally so overall, one other thing I would like to show here is this. Next to treasure, I think this is interesting. If um, any one of you want to take a snapshot of this thing, I'm perfectly okay. But you can always speak to our property salespersons to bring, atten bring this attention to you. Look at the price change column. For treasure, the price has gone up by 2.2%. For Park Clementis, it has gone up by 3.1%. Only two development out of the top 10 the garden resident and Woodley has shown a negative. While right below, you will see 7% for Jetscape. Whistler Grand is almost 14.6%. Dane Tree Florence is 8.4%. Sterling Residence is 15%. Then there's a trick to it. 
when there is a 15%, look at the last column. What is the percentage the developer have sold? 89%. So the developer, when they have sold a good number, they are not going to reduce the price. Look at the next highest price increase, 14.6% reseller grant. Okay? And look at the percentage they have sold, 84%. So this chart, uh, we did not do a cherry picking. We just took the top 10 best selling in the month of August and it automatically shows two development that price it very, uh, I mean the highest amount of price increase from the launch date are those that has crossed the 80%. So developer has already made their money. It, therefore, people think, hey, if developers sold 80% made the money, why are they not dropping the price? Because developers at the launch do give very sensitive pricing. Then the only two occasions, the garden residents and woodlay residents, why are the prices lower? These are more of the developer dropping prices for some of the smaller units and units that are not at the very favorable uh, view or favorable location within the development just to get the momentum in this market. So overall, if you look at it, eight out of the 10, prices are up. Okay, I mean, that's, that's how I interpret from this, as, as Suen put it, a very busy slide, but there are a lot of information here. Yep, uh, I, I think it's, it's also very important because uh, for the customers out there, you see, these are the research that we have done for you. Actually, it gives you a, a very clear indicative of how the market prices are working. So a lot of people expect the prices to come down, but you see some of the properties here, generally, you see the prices are still increasing. Even during this kind of circuit breaker situation or this kind of COVID situation, right? Prices are not generally dropping. But even if you see the number of drops, right, the percentage is not like very scary. Is that the five percent? So if you expected the prices are to be thirty percent drop, right? Then you you probably can see very clearly that because these numbers are not showing this. So that's also one of the reasons why eventually the number of take-up rates by all the different launches right has started to pick up subsequently. Because they realize this is not what generally people are expecting that the price to drop 20 to 30 percent because I, I don't blame them because why most people may not be familiar with the real estate market they do not understand how developer work they doesn't understand how the pricing work so that's the reason why they think in general eh, uh, the newspaper says that the market is going to drop here and there but the the problem here is that they don't understand that eh, actually how developer works so that's the reason why you can see that if not because of the market the prices may even go faster but today why people are taking action because they realize already hey, the numbers doesn't seem to be dropping so that's the reason why uh, people are buying in especially the ocr people think that oh, yeah we don't wait lah. we we might as well just go in because we are we are just buying for own stay uh, we are looking at long term we are not looking at short term and that's the reason why after looking at this whole situation i bet i better go in because why because the next cycle will have another upturn when the market, the supply will start to go off. There will be another new supply comes in. The land cost will become more expensive. We realize by right, you look at all our lands, right? From the lowest point, like EC $200, today average is about 1,001 per square foot selling. So this is generally how the market eventually will go up. So a lot of younger couples out there, a lot of people out there, they say that, hey, I think let's not uh, looking at short term, look at long term, with a lower interest rate environment, that's why they go in. Especially in today's market, I just want to emphasize one more time that this market is unlikely the previous two cycle, which the downturn can be quite a huge fall. The reason because of the huge fall is because at that time, the cooling measure was not that so-called sophisticated. So that's why today the government is very easy. They just tweak a little bit, right? The whole thing can jam up. Last time was different. So that's the reason why you can see that the, the whole thing has not dropped that much because of our TDSR, our loans criteria. So that's why if you, a lot of people expected the numbers, you may not see later. I think Sewing will show you even more details, right? You'll be clearly, uh, you can probably can see much more clearer why the numbers are not seen this way. All right. Thank you, Sewing. Thank you.
thank you. All right, so uh, those for those people who are watching, I think that we are going to have more and more updated information. No? If you can really get all your friends, because now we have 187 people who are watching us. I mean, I mean for those people who are watching us, if you feel that our information are very, very good, can you put, uh, can you say good or not? Right, in your comments, right, so that you can put a good sign or even like, for example, press good or whatever, type in a good or whatever. At least, right? At least doing, I mean, I, mean we, I think we really need to acknowledge her because she spent a lot of effort and time with the team to really do all these things, right, Ismail? Yes, beyond doubt, beyond doubt. Yeah. Yep. Okay, Ken, Chewing, let's continue. Thank you. Yeah, actually, later on, we will um, have another slide uh, that will give a little bit more clarity yeah. on pricing in terms of uh, the three regions, RCR, CCR, uh, and OCR. So this one, we just plucked uh, just RCR alone seeing that August uh, RCR led sales. So we wanted to track uh, how OC, uh, RCR performed from January onwards. And actually, interestingly, August was the strongest monthly sales for the whole of this year um, for the RCR. As a proportion of sale, they accounted for nearly half. Uh, so fairly impressive. And I think this RCR segment is something to watch as a uh, Ismail has uh, shared earlier, right? Uh, we are expecting three more RCR projects to launch. So typically, new home sales tend to be supply-led as well. So whenever there's a new launch on the market, uh, we see new sales uh, getting a, a boost from uh, take-up take from all these uh, new projects on the market.